Hello, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Gamers of Nations. You're here with me, Fred. It's time to do Age of Empires 2 video again, HD. Um, and I'm going to be playing King of the Hill today. Now, King of the Hill is a particular mode where you control the monument in the centre of the map um, for a specific amount of time, and if you hold it for that amount of time, you win, and if you're the last person to hold it, obviously. So, let's go with the flow. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the enemy on separate teams. So, it's one versus one versus one versus one, because there's no point putting teams for them. Um, you need to put lock teams on so they don't ally with each other. Um, so, I am going to be going against CPUs. I could go against other people, but nobody else in the Games of Nations currently own this at the moment, so... I'm the only person that does. <laughs> Awkward. Um, I'm going to be the Chinese. Um, and just the matter of which colours to choose now. Um, something that's obviously going to be easy for you guys to see. So um, I am going to go with the red. Um, and that fits in with the Chinese colours of the flag as well. I'm going to put the population to about 125. Um, because I don't want this video to be too laggy. There you go. <laughs> Here we go. These games normally don't last very long. Um, so, yeah, let's see how I do today. Um, you might notice that I have installed the dual soundtrack uh, mod. I have installed two other mods as well. Um, which is Mike, I think it's called Mike version 2 farms because I don't like the the preset farms that are on here um, and there's something else I've installed, oh yes I have installed a mod that makes player 7 look dark grey because in the um, in multiplayer people can cheat by playing as um, player 7 because you can't see it on the mini map because it is exactly the same colour as um, the not foliage but you know food particularly animals so there are a couple of cheaters online. So I like to combat that with the, with the mods that makes them look dark grey. So you can see them on the map. See ya. I'll put a link to all of those uh, mods um, in the description below. I will do a video separately on them. But for the time being, what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this up until, um, obviously, you get to see... Um, the rest of the video in its full length. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the sound off. There we go. So from now on I'm just going to speed this up a bit so I can get resources and what have you. Um, one thing I will say is they will try to attack you um, pretty early on. Which isn't a good thing. So, good luck. See you soon. I decided to speed it up a bit, um, so I've just 
pretty much got enough villagers and enough resources to get to the next stage, um, as you can see. So I've just, um, yeah, I'm just advancing now. So yeah, I found some more um, sheep on my ventures of the exploration of the unknown. And that's where the wonder is that I need to defend. Um, by the looks of it, it's 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 by sea, um, so it looks like it's going to be a sea defence in terms of um, trying to hold the um, the wonder. It doesn't look like there's any land around it, so this could be quite an interesting, quite an interesting um, level to um, or mode to play. So it does look like I'm going to have to get a lot of um, wood and a lot of gold if I'm going to be able to do this. So it's just a matter of just waiting now and seeing how this is going to all unfold. <laughs> oh dear, I do miss, I, I do love this game really. So, just while you're waiting, these are the stats for the Chinese. The Chinese are an archer civilization. They start with three villagers, but minus 50 wood and minus 200 food. The technologies cost are 10% less in feudal age, 15% less in castle age, 20% less in imperial age, town centre support 10 population, demolition ships off, plus 50 hit points, so that could be quite important when I'm going to be using them later. Um, the unique unit is the Chukunu, which is an archer, which is a crossbowman that fires about three arrows at a time. Very effective and inexpensive, so important. And farms are well, plus 45 food. Now, I don't really use farms straight away. Loads of people use that tactic. I'm not um, too keen on farms in the Dark Age because um, farms are the slowest form of gathering uh, food in the game, so I like to um, sort of use hunt, hunted berries and uh, fish as much as I can.
There we go.